G'day, I'm David G. Sheshnag Mandir. What on earth is Kundalini? You can buy that on Amazon. You can click on the like button. <laughs> you can even subscribe. Push that little bell. Get notifications. This video is more to do with the Om David G. School of Spiritual Neurosis where I just make stuff up. I was just thinking the other day, someone said to me, I don't understand why people don't spell check their words to see how poor their grammar is. And I said, well, you got to realise that through their perception, they actually don't know correct grammar. They don't use spell check because they don't know how words are right and wrong. They only know what they know. And if they're used to spelling things phonetically and not putting in apostrophes or commas, then that's how they see the world. So, as a person that understands grammar and punctuation, then you can't really imply... Or superimpose your desire for correct grammar onto someone else. Because it's not possible. Because when they read it, to them it's correct, even though it's incorrect. Because there's a certain form of grammar, but they don't see it. So in your reality, or the person who sees the correct grammar in their reality, then those people are spelling incorrectly and pronouncing words incorrectly and not putting an apostrophe between the N and the T in the word didn't and things like that. Like, it's all to do with the filtration or the filters of one's own perception. And sure, you can say there, you go, if that was the case, then you go around saying, why can't everyone just be kind? Because the perception of the people being kind is not capable of empathy to feel what kindness is. So they're not going to be kind, even though you sit there and go, superimpose that desire for them to act in a certain way, just like it's superimposed on them to spell correctly. It's not possible for them to spell correctly because they don't see it. So it's a bit of a fiasco, it's a bit of a drama, but it's one that's has a solution more in the experience of it being equanimous to it rather than fighting against it and sitting there and getting invalidated by someone else's expression which is incorrectly spelt. Does that make sense? This video is about the poor grammar fiasco and how superimposition on the other people of expectations for them to act in a certain way is distorted and unrealistic. And they're never going to be able to spell it properly because they're not running with the right gear to be able to perceive it in a certain way that is culturally, grammatically correct. <laughs> anyway, there you go. I'm David G. Sheshnag Mandir. Share the world. Subscribe all you like. I'll bring out some more yoga, philosophy and meditation soon. But for now, peace. Om Namah Shivaya. Har Har Mahade.